bronze one of the most underrated pro in new york city in this video we will take a tour of new york city's one of the most affordable neighborhood park chester before i move further all the information i will share throughout the video based on some google search online article and some books nothing is made up by me so do not get upset with me if you don't like any facts that i will share throughout the video and also feel free to share if you had any thought or uh, if you would like to add something that i forget to mention in the video i am recording this video on august 8 2022 and right now is 6 30 pm new york time and outside temperature is 88 degree fahrenheit it is one of the hottest and humid day in new york city but i'm happy to explore this gorgeous neighborhood of bronx and i'm starting this video from parkchester 6 train subway station and on my way to metropolitan avenue and there would be a google map link in my video description box so you can easily find my walking route for this video and i think this is very helpful now let's talk about some history of these beautiful neighborhood so basically park chester is developed by metropolitan life insurance company and the name park chester came from two neighborhoods where the development site was located park versailles and westchester park chester was and still remains a place where one can shop work and living without ever having to step foot outside of the development although most of the commute outside of the area for employment it was built to be a city within a city it was constructed with over 100 stores and commercial spaces and all 12271 apartments are spread across 171 buildings the tallest of which are 12 stories and the shortest seven stories now all of that might sound quite dense but in reality a little over 50 percent of parkchester is actually open space and recreational area with the rest dedicated to its roadways and about 27.5 percent are actually buildings according to the parkchester's website In 1939, New York World's Fair, MetLife displayed a model of the proposed development and the model showed all the buildings and facilities and was accurate down to inclusion of each 66,000 windows in the complex, which is unbelievable.
Now I am at the corner of Parkchester Road and Metropolitan Avenue and here you can see the Messi store. So this is the second Messi store in the world. So the first Messi store is in 34th Street Health Square but in 1941 Messi opened its store in the complex and this is the second Messi store in the world. As I mentioned earlier, this is a city inside a city. So you do not really need to go outside of this neighborhood to do anything unless you had a job or something like that. And not only that, this particular complex has its own post office that I will show later in this video which is really convenient and that's the reason this is one of the New York City's most affordable neighborhood and that's why people are preferred to live here and this is quite safe area or neighborhood as well I did see lots of police presence at the neighborhood and people are very friendly honestly The Marshall store you are seeing right now, it used to be a movie theater. So yeah, this neighborhood also had a movie theater, but unfortunately it closed down and became a Marshall, a departmental shop right here you can see, which is pretty unfortunate. I think movie theater sounds much more fun than doing shopping in Marshalls, but I do know some of you guys enjoy to do shopping in Marshall, but this is the building they used to had a movie theater before. Now let's back to the history of this neighborhood. So from 1861 to 1938, the 129 acre site that would be became the largest condominium development in the world was owned by the Archdiocese of New York and was the home of two New York Catholic Protectory and Orphanage for Boys and Girls. In 1938, MetLife purchased the 129-acre site from the Archdiocese for the grand sum of $5 million. Soon after, MetLife began construction for the massive development which take three years to complete. By 1940, the South Quadrant was complete, allowing for the first 500 families to move in the complex. And the rest of the development was complete by 1941. And by 1943, all 12,271 apartments were rented. So, but not everyone was welcomed. When the development opened in 1940, it was a whites only development and for 28 years blacks and people of color could not rent in this beautifully planned community also called city within a city according to parkchester a bronze tale of a race of ethnicity written by jeffrey s grok frederick aker president of metlife said in 1943 that Negroes and whites do not mix. Perhaps they will in 100 years, but they will do not now. It wasn't until 1968 that Metropolitan Life 
finally agreed to allow non-whites to rent in Parkchester after have been directed by the New York City Commission on Human Rights. Metropolitan Life Insurance had no problem taking money from African American families and people of color, but then they went ahead and uses those same funds to build a development that would exclude black and people of color, which is truly unbelievable. As I mentioned earlier that 50% of Parkchester is actually open spaces. So this is a beautiful park and it's called Bronze Union Port Parkchester Park. It's a pretty lovely park and I really like this gorgeous fountain you will see right now. This is truly a family friendly park. I did see lots of senior citizens, kids playing around. But the thing I really like about this park, this amazing fountain.
basically met life sold Parchester to Henry Hemsley and in 1974 Hemsley began converting Parchester into condominiums and he started with Northern Quadrant and later he explained that the late 1900s when the Parkchester Preservation Company was created through investors led by Community Preservation Corp which pumped hundreds of millions of dollars worth of upgrades and repair after having purchased Hemley's remaining stake which include just over 6,300 apartments and I guess over 80 store that include Messi's location as well. By the early 2000 things begin to turn around for the Parkchester and its residents and also along with everything else property values increased for the brave homeowners who purchased their units when conditions were black. But today, the Parkchester is a different place. When you walk into Parkchester neighborhood, it's a combination of different ethnic backgrounds of people like black, white, Latino, Asian, South Asian, mostly are Pakistani and Bangladeshis. A beautiful reflection of people of the bronze and also a beautiful reflection that how diverse New York City is basically.
So this is Sterling Avenue, also called Bangla Bajar. The reason it's called Bangla Bajar or also a little Bangladesh in bronze because most of the business places here owned by Bangladeshi owners and the Bangladeshi community here is very strong. You will see and you will find the most number of Bangladeshi people here in this part of bronze. So this is one of the bronze largest Bangladeshi neighborhood and day by day the number of bangladeshi community is growing up here in parkchester which is really good for the neighborhood and also for bangladeshi community
let's talk about the rent of this particular neighborhood as i mentioned earlier that this is a very affordable neighborhood uh, so you can easily find a one bedroom apartment is for like one thousand five hundred dollar i might be wrong so feel free to share your thought if you think the rent is much higher than i said and if you are from this neighborhood feel free to share your thoughts and your ideas i will really appreciate that but from some online research i found that the one bedroom apartment is roughly cost around fifteen hundred dollar here so which is pretty comfortable compared to manhattan bronze brooklyn and staten island
so right near that messy you will find this post office and which is very convenient that's why this is called a city inside a city because all the convenient shop store and places you will find inside this neighborhood so you do not need to go outside other than some work so that is pretty much it thank you so much everyone for watching this video and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if so then kindly hit that like button for me and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribe to my channel for regular updates and video like that from new york city and feel free to share any thoughts and any ideas or if you had any specific neighborhood you want to see next feel free to share that as well i will try my best to cover that till then stay safe stay positive and i will see you somewhere else bye bye